Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make uh, this muzzle flash uh, in Blender 2.8. You can see it shoots out directly from the gun and uh, wherever the gun moves, it also uh, moves. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I've already set up the gun here. Uh, you can see how uh, that looks. Uh, the project file will be available to the Patreons if you want uh, the, uh, the project, uh, the gun itself and uh, you are Patreon, you can just requ request for it and I will send it to you. Uh, but uh, you can also download the project, at the, at the gun itself from my CG Trader our store. I will leave a link in the description. So yeah, this is what we are going to be using and uh, we are going to use the particle system uh, to emit uh, these muzzles. And I also need a texture like this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a single texture like this, but uh, uh, having it uh, like this would make it easier. Uh, if you have a front uh, perspective muzzle flash and a side perspective muzzle flash, this will make it easier uh, so that uh, from all angles you're seeing the model, you're seeing a full 3D muzzle flash instead of uh, just an image plane. You can see. Yeah, so let's do this. So we're going to start by adding a particle system that is that is going to emit uh, the muzzle flash. So shift A, let's add a plane. This will act as our emitter, 30, 90 degrees. And now we want to place it directly inside the muzzle. Sorry, the, the gun barrel. Uh, so let's scale this down a bit like that. And also parent this to the gun, so control P, keep transform. So that whenever you move uh, the gun, it follows uh, that gun. So you can see like that. Now let's select the emitter, uh, go to the particle settings and uh, add a particle system. If we play back, you can see they all just fall down. Uh, go to the velocity settings and increase the normal velocity uh, so that it's shooting out like so. And now, but uh, these are kind of too many bullets uh, to shoot out from a gun. So let's reduce this to about a count of five uh, so that we have something like that. And I also don't like this projection where they're kind of falling off uh, because of gravity, but I don't have to uh, reduce the gravity because uh, the length, the, the longevity or the lifetime of the muzzle flash is a few seconds, so it won't have, gravity won't have enough time to pull it down. So let's go to the lifetime and I reduce that from 50 to about one, so that you can see something, something like that. And you can also see how random that gets uh, when you play around with the longevity so or lifetime of the of the emission so of each particle so you can see that you can also play around with the random knife randomness of the time uh, this will give you will have some muzzle flashes last a bit more seconds uh, than uh, uh, in some instances and uh, that can also add some randomness to uh, to the yeah to the shooting so yeah this is what we have and uh, it's, it's not very confusing. So let's add uh, the texture, uh, the muzzle flash texture. So for that, we're going to add a plane, shift A, rotate 90 degrees, just so it's facing us. I'm going to scale it uh, vertically, maybe apply rotation and scale. Uh, let me also subdivide this and have another uh, layout here for the UV. I want to use it and this. You can see this is what we have. Uh, so we need two planes. Uh, we need actually three. Uh, one for the side view, so that when you're looking at this from this angle, you can see something. Uh, another one for this direct view. Uh, this will use this texture. And another one from the, for the top view and uh, bottom view, like this. So select this. Uh, let's add a new material. Let me stop the playback the material. And uh, you need to find a texture like this. Uh, uh, you can use two, t uh, two different images, uh, but uh, to make it a bit easier, I might them into one image like this uh, so that I can select uh, the image I want to use uh, using the UVs. So uh, let's add the image, texture, image texture, and I can find it here. I can preview it using Control Shift click. You can see this is what we have. Let me also bring it up here in the UV editor. And I can see if I move my UVs, I'm moving uh, that. 
since this is going to be the horizontal laser flash, I'm just going to rotate these 90 degrees uh, so that I can select these as uh, the laser flash. Right now it's too straight, so I can scale this in the Y axis. I also want to make sure that uh, I don't clip any of the edges of the muzzle flash, so I'll extend this a little bit out like this, and uh, you can see uh, this is what we have. Now you can just select this, shift D, duplicate it, and then rotate it in the X direction, 90 degrees, uh, so that we have something for uh, the bottom. Whenever the camera is at this angle or at this angle, it will always see something. Uh, but uh, we don't have anything for the direct view. So let's do that. I'll just select this mesh, this mesh shift D, uh, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. I want to make it a bit square and push it back around there. Let me scale this down a bit and maybe also scale this back a bit but uh, oh, oh, let me just scale it like this uh, and then for this here we wanted to use let me unwrap it i wanted to use this portion here of the texture shift h to hide everything just make sure you're not clipping any of the detail and uh, this is what we have uh, the problem we have is that uh, we are not using an alpha an image with alpha channel uh, so we are seeing these black areas so let's see how to remove that so since this is an image without alpha channel we can't use we can't use the alpha output of the image uh, because that will just produce a, a kind of white image white mask that doesn't really do much for us so what we are going to do is that uh, because we have some completely black pixels here uh, we can use that as the alpha mask so if i add a uh, convert math node and let me you preview this node control shift click on this uh, this shortcut will only work if you're using uh, the node wrangler add-on Uh, if you add uh, a math node, uh, you can play around with different operations. Uh, so I think the multi the power operation worked for me here, and uh, you can see some adverts here. You just have to play around with the value here to reduce uh, the strength of uh, the mask, uh, so that you don't you start clipping out those adverts can see this is a good enough mask to use as our alpha channel and you can see it doesn't really change too much from the it doesn't really take away too much from the original image so and uh, we're going to be using this as the alpha input so connect that to the alpha and uh, if we preview this uh, we are still going to be seeing the exact results we had before uh, except we have to connect this to the diffuse to the base colors to see uh, the color, the shading of uh, the muzzle flash. So to make the alpha start appearing, uh, we need to go to the material settings. So go to the material tab and uh, scroll down to the settings and change the blending mode uh, to alpha blend. Uh, that should clip out or remove uh, the alpha, uh, the black areas uh, that we must we must out uh, to have something like this. You can also play around with different our blade modes here and see this is additive alpha blend alpha hashed and i think i like alpha blend better and uh, are we still missing a few details here so we can connect the color here uh, to the emission uh, so that we bring some of that detail back and uh, also you can play around with the value here to push back some of the details uh, what we don't want is those artifacts there and, uh, this is what we have so combined with the bloom effect you can see it becomes even better 
it looks even better. Let's see if I just crank this up. Ah, another thing you can do, uh, we need this to be in the emission. Uh, but another thing you can do to make to make this even pop a little bit better, you can add a color mix RGB <coughs> and change uh, the blending mode here to something like overlay or additive or add and uh, then you can mix this you can add different colors there you can see how this is making it pop and uh, when you change the value to a higher value you can make it even brighter so you can see how that looks I think that looks pretty good uh, so then to make this shoot out of the gun because you can see right now it's really not doing anything let's first move it out all the way uh, because it's just going to be used as the instance of uh, the particle system so let's select the particle system go to the particle settings and uh, under render change render as to object and uh, select this as your instance object now if you play back you can see they are very very small uh, so we can increase the scale you can see our uh, problem is are they facing the wrong direction so if we rotate uh, this object doesn't seem to be doing much uh, so uh, why is it hanging okay so we can select uh, the particle system again and I think we need to change uh, to object rotation uh, so that it follows uh, the particle system a uh, peak or yeah just copy the object rotation so you can see if I rotate the, this up you can see it just copies the same rotation uh, that makes it easier uh, to rotate this so uh, another thing you want to do is uh, have the pivot point of this uh, uh, instance at the end or at uh, somewhere here. So I'm just going to select this Shift S cursor to select it so that I move my pivot point uh, to there. So origin to 3D cursor. And then now uh, this should be closer uh, to the barrel directly there. And uh, what is cool about this is that uh, it doesn't matter where we rotate this, ah, this is a problem. So if you're running into this issue, because you can see right now, if I'm shooting this in this direction, this is still facing uh, this direction. Uh, this is, I, was, I didn't run into this issue because I think I did it differently, but uh, if you do it like this and uh, you're running into that issue, uh, what you can do, let me first, uh, what you can do, you can parent this directly to this object as well or to the gun itself, keep transform, uh, so that whenever you rotate this as well, uh, the orientation of the gun, uh, of the instance, will also be the same uh, for the gun. So I, I don't think I did it this way, uh, because I didn't run into this issue. Uh, I don't remember running into this issue, but uh, uh, let me see how I did it. Uh, so if I clear it, because if you see in my project, original project, uh, this is the, the the instance we are using and uh, ah actually this is how I did it I used that yeah and I don't think I think I wasn't rotating this gun too much uh, to actually see that uh, I didn't see that, see that this wasn't following uh, the orientation of the gun. But uh, if you're running into that issue, that's how you fix it. I think there is another way to do to fix it without apparenting this to this. So let me clear this rotation, this parent. And so keep transformation. Clear, keep transformation. Yeah. 
says the issue we're running in. Uh, this is maintaining the orientation of the object. Uh, so you can first switch off the object orientation. Uh, and then I think if you turn on rotation and choose play around with the uh, with the settings here, you can get the right rotation. But uh, it's always difficult to find uh, the correct rotation for this by uh, using this this technique uh, because you have to, to know the right orientation of the object. But uh, if you, it's not even doing anything here. It's actually doing this problem is global object object X object Z so I think you have to first look at the orientation of this object so if I turn on this gizmo and also change uh, this orientation to local I can see the direction I have to face to use here I think is orient object orientation Z but uh, this is making it face this direction so I'm not sure why that is so so let's see no more tangent is this outside so you just have to play around with You would expect it to be in this direction. So if you if you see that uh, it's behaving like this, you can just go select this object, uh, the instance, go to edit mode, and uh, try rotating it by 90 degrees until you get uh, the right orientation you're seeing. So you can see now it's facing this direction. So let's see if I rotate this 90 degrees. Rotate the 90 degrees. Rotate X 90 degrees. You can see, I think uh, that would be uh, the orientation. So if I rotate this, you can see the problem is uh, we have also moved our pivot point. So we just need to select everything and make sure that the pivot point is at the center, like that. And you can see now uh, that is fixed. So whenever I rotate uh, this, uh, the gun follows and I it does, this doesn't necessarily have to be parented to the gun. And then you just need to, you can also scale this up, the instance to scale up uh, the, the muzzle flash, or we'll just select uh, the emitter, and uh, under the, emitter, the object settings, increase uh, the scale directly there. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.